Hey guys, Tyler here. Do you guys like puzzle games? If so, I'd like to recommend an event called the Thinkathon. It's a week long event featuring the release of six new puzzle games, including the one I'm playing today. Check out the game's information at thinkygames.com, link in the description. Thanks to the organizers of the Thinkathon for sponsoring. Let's get into one of the games now Elephant. So I boot up the game and it just drops you in the middle of it. I like games that do that. You have to figure out the rules. There's a puzzle of that. There's two symbols, one that can be pushed around and one that kind of sits in a corner. If it goes next to the other symbol, links up green and I can get my little elephant over. The description says this is a puzzle game about language, but I'm curious to see how that falls into place. So I guess the rule right now is get them next to each other. Oh, but maybe vertically next to each other. Only vertical, not horizontal. Then I can go on the goal. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of other stuff I got to figure out as I go along. That's genuinely one of my favorite parts of puzzle games. Although there is no possibility to put this above or below. Here though, it did link up side to side and now I can push the goal itself. Interesting. Well, it doesn't go any further and I still can't Oh, I can still push them up together like that. They're basically synced up once they link like that. Interesting. Now I got two sets. One is already good. This, you notice how like that thing on the ground, it changes directions after I go over it. That's probably helpful for linking it up. Because if I do this, it's actually like pointed at me. If I point it up this way, no, that won't do. It has to be pointed directly at the pushable block. Yeah, so if I do that, no, it's still pointing at me out here still point at me it is always facing me the symbol knows all out of curiosity can i just win here i gotta have both be right how do i get these two to link up though i mean it's not like i can just point it there can i go off the map or something to get it to point down i can bounce this against the wall but that's not it what am i missing i can't pull this off a wall um it seemed like walking on this changed the direction like it made everything point towards me yeah, look at the shape of the red pushable block. It says, hello, it's nice to meet you. I don't know what to do with this. All right, what if I get it pointed directly up? It links it up. So the tiny dot at the top of it is pointed towards the floor symbol. And that is part of the link up. We go in alphabetical order. Yeah, the tiny dot is pointed at, I see. So if I walk up here, it's gonna point at me up there. Or, if I waltz around, I actually can't push this at all. Strange, it appears to be pushable. How curious. Like, what a strangely shaped map if there's not much use for parts of it. Ah, that's what you're supposed to do. Because now you could push it up then over. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that just yet. Oh, I know, I know. I'm gonna push it down again, so it's pointing to the right, that sinks up and I can go on it. So I have to have a pair happen. Not the fruit, but a couple. I have to couple these things together. Couple one together, couple the other together. Does this uncouple the left one? It does not. Once it's coupled, it stays coupled. I don't know what to call these. They seem like stamps. I get a stampy vibe. Each stamp needs its own elf. Can I push two together? Yeah, well, yeah, I guess I can. That wasn't the result I anticipated, but I should have anticipated that result. Because now that they're linked up... Interesting. Hold on, hold on. If I stand here, I've made this stamp point bottom right. So I could... Oh, hold on. No, that's not quite it. So maybe I don't sync this up with the one directly below it. Maybe I gotta rotate it down into the right first. Like, what if I link up with this? They rotate a bit to the right. I don't know if that would sync them up. That makes them unsinkable, which might be for better or for worse. Because what if I send this all the way to the right now? The rightmost one is going to be synced down to the left, which actually will link up with this one. But I can't push it. And I've stuck this in a corner. They don't get pushed together, unfortunately. And that's so close to syncing up. Right, I'm getting a better idea for it. Oh, I know. Okay, so I could set this up first, rotate the stamps so I can push them to be positioned right here. I can then go on this symbol again, re-rotating the stamps, which actually lets me sync up the leftmost one, which is the hardest one for me. I can now push over it all? Hold on. No, if I stand here, it faces down and to the left. 
Oh, but if I push the three of them, I can then re-sync up that one and then push it over so it faces down. There we go. I will say I am using my thinky brain. That's what this game's all about, you know? Oh, this one's a troll. It has a really easy way to sync up, but then I'm stuck. What do I do there? So I imagine I would need to rotate the stamp first so I could push it on top of this. And then I don't know how I would want to position that stamp. I mean, I could have it face the right, but it feels wrong. Oh, new idea. First, rotate it, then get over here. Then what I got to do is actually send it all the way back so I can have it be facing up. And up is the way I'm going to sync up the two, and that'll do it. I got to sync up two whole stamps. One of them is pretty stuck. Well, what if I sync these two up, push them about this far, see how it's rotated, push this back. Does this sync up with the... Oh... Never mind, that doesn't work. Reset. What if I push this stamp down, then over, and link up with the right side piece? It makes it rotate far. I have an idea. I could push it further over here and then link them up without stepping on the green thing. Well, I don't know what this would accomplish either. It doesn't let me sync up with the other red stamp. I can push it out, but that doesn't change anything. I can push this really far in. But that feels wrong, too. I feel like I had a good first step, but my follow-up is right now pretty weak. What if I take sync these up, push it down? Does that still push it over? It does not. I could technically move those together. Oh, that is one way to move this symbol up. I bet that's actually part of it. Because what I would have to do is this. Push the red symbol over far? Hmm... Like, see how the red stamp is pointed to the right? Push! I don't know what I'm missing. Let's try a different puzzle. It's about five days later, and I think I missed something completely obvious. This thing is facing down. So what if I just don't step on any of the floor tiles after I've synced up with this to make sure that the left stamp doesn't change its direction? I can link up this and then push it all the way over. And of course it links up the other one. This was really obvious. I think I was just really quick to taking it one step too far. There we go. Puzzle solved. I'm happy now. Next is J. Maybe this will somehow help me. This seems like it may be an easier version of the level I failed with. Like you use a pair to push another one of those symbols. But I'm going to need to maneuver this a little bit. Send it down, and then send it over like this, and this will pair, so that solves it. That's just the easier version of the level I skipped. Okay, what about, <laughs> okay, three pairs. Somehow I have to have the stamp facing upwards? What are you talking about? Directly up is actually impossible, because I would need to get the leftmost part of the pair to be in one of these two spots, which can't be done. So there is clearly some mechanic that I'm not getting. I feel as though I'm supposed to sync up these two somehow. I'm not ready for that yet. I can't push that down. Push it over about this far. Okay, what if I push like this? What happens if I push it directly on? Well, it would just turn as soon as I move it past, I see. Oh, yeah, maybe I need this facing down. I guess actually that's the trick. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me actually move this over one, move this over one, so it's still facing down. At least this way. I could push it here to sync these two up. Okay, hold on. This is actually manageable. I can stuff you in the corner, push you over here, because now I can get this one facing up. There we go, okay. Next letter is L, as in elephant. The first thing I noticed, there's a stacking that's happened. What's up with that? Why would it start out this way? I don't know, but I imagine I want to get a stamp here, have it face horizontal. I was thinking I could push this all the way over, but obviously that's not true. Well, for starters, this map isn't really symmetrical. There's a little nook back here, which seems like a really good spot for a stamp. Like I could push this down and have it face to the left. And then I figure I can just push it around. I don't know, I sense I'm gonna have some other issues along the way. Like I can set this up, link it up. What about the other stamp? And what if I send this far, far over? I can't. And first have it face right, then push it up. And push it back again. 
And now they're separated on the bottom row. I can link those up. Hold on, hold on. Because now if I stand here, the other stamp is facing the right. I can push it almost all the way over. Almost. Oh, wait, this is good. This is good. For a second, I thought the stamp would be screwed. It's fixed now. Well, that was convoluted. I'm sure M will be even harder. Well, it looks tighter, so I can get behind that. I wouldn't say that's always a good thing. What if I push this over to here and then link it up? I can then push all these together to an extent because I hit the wall. And I don't get a full link. Well, if this stamp gets in the way, what if I push it out of the way up there first? Which actually syncs up with the symbol? Oh, <laughs> it's angry. Well, this is fine because I can now push this over and all three are synced up. That was one angry puzzle though. And N before the bull. Is this the boss puzzle? Holy crap. Well, this looks already solved. I must choose either the elephant or the bull or maybe choose both of them. Wait a second. The bull's angry. Something's happening in the upper right hand corner. Hold on. So upright, upright. I see the symbol that's being created in the top right corner is the pair between the floor symbol and the stamp. So on the top right that's represented so, contrast that with when the stamp is above the floor symbol. Now am I supposed to find a secret code? Because now it's sideways. Yeah, how can I even begin to solve this? I was thinking maybe the combination of characters could be symmetrical, but that doesn't look possible. What if I just alternate left, right, left, right? Also wrong. Maybe I can find the combo elsewhere? Oh, oh, down, up, down, down, up, down, right, left, down, up, down, down, up, down, right, left. Ooh, that must be it. So down, up, down, down, up, down, right, left. That's it. Ooh, that's fun to solve. Well, this puzzle got me feeling the game more. Not gonna lie, the game seemed just fine, kind of plain before, but now that there's this extra type of puzzle in the game, my curiosity has been piqued. If you like what you see, check out thinkygames.com. Thinkathon going on right now. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.